Hey guys, we have one topic for you. We will provide a very quick update on the flux level of Tabby Star and show that we are currently in a very abrupt brightening event. So this is a table of Bruce Gary's G-band measurements of KIC 846 to 852 and the corresponding centered 25-day simple moving averages. And this data runs from September 21st of 2017 to the present date. And this is a scatter plot of his G-band measurements. And this is the superimposed centered 25-day simple moving average of those G-band measurements. And this is the peak of the last temporary brightening event. And as you can see, we have just had a super abrupt brightening event that has taken the centered 25-day simple moving average above that level by 0.2% so far. And as always, guys, with this star, this was totally unexpected. And this is the same light curve, only zoomed out, so you can see the last measurements that Bruce took. Notice how bright those last measurements were. And now using the centered 25 day simple moving average as the nominal flux level, we can derive the normalized flux light curve of Bruce Gary's data. Notice that the last seven measurements are significantly above the nominal level and reached as high as 2% above the long term nominal flux level. Since Tabby's team has not really mentioned much about this significant brightening event, we decided to check another AAVSO observer by the name of Barbara Harris down in Florida to see if this brightening was real. And these are her V-band flux measurements along with the centered 25-day simple moving average. And this is a scatter plot of her V-band data and this is the superimposed centered 25 day simple moving average of those V-band measurements. Notice that she is also showing the abrupt brightening event. So Bruce Gary, as always, is right on target. So the question is, what's causing the brightening, guys? You know, your guess is really as good as anyone else's, but most likely it's either from reflected light off of something very large added to the star's light, or perhaps a thin spot in the material that is causing the long-term dimming of Tabby Star. Well, anyway guys, from now on this channel will be tracking a basket of observers' measurements and will no longer rely on any one observer anymore. We will also go back in time and reconstruct the long-term light curve over multiple years from a variety of reliable sources. Well guys, that's all we have. Take care and we will see you soon.